What is up, Rosenbrettes? I am Ink Slasher, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful weapon you are looking at on screen here. Now, if you don't know what this weapon is, it is the Annihilator Pistol. It is Seraph's Pistol from the multiplayer from Black Ops. And what this pistol is, is a one-shot kill pistol. Well... At least in most game modes, it's a one-shot kill. Blackout, not quite. But this pistol is actually how you unlock the specialist character, Seraph, in Blackout. And it's just a pretty cool weapon. But there's a little bit of an Easter egg you have to do before you actually unlock this thing and are able to use it in game. So today's video is going to be all about that, showing you how to unlock the pistol, and in doing so, eventually unlock the specialist character, Seraph, in Blackout. They may be wondering why the Annihilator hadn't been found before today, and the answer is simple. In yesterday's big update, they added a bunch of new challenges to unlock certain specialist characters in Blackout. Before this, only certain ones were available, but as of right now, you can now unlock every single specialist character in Blackout. Now, as far as when are the zombies characters and other characters going to become available, we don't really know, but as of right now, all that are available are all of the specialist characters. Now, at the end of this video, I'm actually going to tell you how to get all of the other specialist characters in Blackout as well. But as for right now, the thing you are all here for is how to get the Annihilator and how to unlock Seraph. So, without further ado, let's hop into that. So, the Annihilator was actually originally found in Blackout in the beta. If you used the perk Looter while you were in firing range, we could see this box with the Annihilator inside it. But no one figured out how to actually get inside it and use it. And as it turns out, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is behind this box, there are six targets, and all you have to do is shoot them with a pistol. It can be any single pistol. It can be the Mazu, it can be the Strife, or it can be the R7 Garrison. There's this rumor going around that it has to be the Mazu. That is not the case. It can be any single one of those weapons. Now, where this gets interesting is the pistol, the Annihilator, isn't always in firing range. And what I mean by this is sometimes when you go to firing range and look in this exact spot, the box isn't there. And generally speaking, when the box isn't there, there are not six targets behind the box. There is only five. So if there's only five targets there, the box isn't there you simply can't get the Annihilator pistol. Now, as of right now, I don't know whether the Annihilator spawns somewhere else on the map altogether, but as of right now, we know it is not there. So the way it looks to me as of right now, only in some games it is possible to get the Annihilator pistol, only when it actually spawns in. Now, on top of this, there are some glitches with it right now where you'll shoot all six targets, the box is there, and it simply doesn't unlock. In fact, sometimes it makes the noise like it is going to unlock and then just simply doesn't. That's a bug. It's just not working properly if that happens. It's unfortunate if it happens to you, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Now, as of right now, the only other way to actually get the Annihilator pistol, if you can't do it this way, is to actually take it off of the dead body. In other words, someone else has already done the mini Easter egg, and you steal it from them. Now, after you get the Annihilator pistol, how does it work? How good is it? Well, first of all, you only get six shots total. You only get six bullets for this entire weapon, and as it's of right now, I'm pretty sure there's there's no other way to get extra bullets for it. Now, does the weapon work the same as multiplayer? Is it always a one bullet kill? And the unfortunate answer to that is no. In fact, most of the time I found it was not a one bullet kill. So if a person has a full 150 health, it is not a one bullet kill. If the person has body armor, it is not a one bullet kill. So it's very rare that you're actually going to get a one bullet kill with this thing. In fact, most of the time it's going to be a two bullet kill. So after you get this Annihilator Pistol, how do you go on to actually unlock Seraph? So, once you go into your menu, when you have the Annihilator Pistol, it takes up one of your weapon slots. So if you're carrying the Annihilator Pistol, you are only able to carry one other weapon. But, if you go into your menu and actually scroll over top of it to the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the associated challenge with the Annihilator Pistol. So here it says, complete this mission to unlock Seraph, and the mission is as follows. Kill an enemy with the Annihilator, place in the top five, 
and then finally finish the match with the annihilator in your inventory so the first one is pretty simple there kill an enemy with it like i said most of the time it's going to be a two-shot kill the only thing that's hard about this one is like i mentioned earlier you only get a total of six bullets now when it says finish in the top five it means top five teams so if you're playing solos it is going to be in the top five if you're playing duos it's going to be in the top 10 and if you're playing quads it's going to be in the top 20 or at least very close to that for example as you can see here we are playing duos we are in the top 10 and when i go to the menu it says that place in the top five is complete and then after that all you have to do is finish the game with the annihilator in your inventory in other words you will only be able to keep one other weapon in your inventory for the rest of the game now, quite honestly, this mission is pretty damn difficult, since there's only really one way of getting the Annihilator, and the weapon isn't a one-hit kill, you only have six bullets to get a kill, and then you have to finish in the top five, it's not really an easy challenge. So some advice that I can give you guys, first of all, this is definitely easiest to do in quads. Reason being, you can have some protection. Your team can kind of protect you while you actually get the pistol, and then you only have to finish in the top five teams in other words the top 20 players whereas if you're playing solos you literally have to finish in the top five the second piece of advice i can give you guys is when actually trying to get a kill with this thing try to kill someone up close and personal the reason for that is first of all it's hard to hit someone at long range with this weapon and if you hit them it's probably not going to kill them and then they can hide heal up and then once again it's going to be a two bullet kill you almost want to think of the annihilator pistol as a pretty good shotgun up close so now you actually know how to unlock the Annihilator Pistol, how to use it, and how to unlock Seraph. So I thought what we'd do for the rest of the video is look at the rest of the challenges for all of the other characters that you can currently unlock in Blackout. That way you'll know how to actually unlock every single character possible so far. So I personally didn't find all of these challenges, but I found all of the information via the Black Ops 4 Reddit. So to start things off, let's look at the four characters that you have been able to unlock since the very beginning. So the first of which is Ajax. So to unlock Ajax, you have to find three broken armor platings and finish the game with them in your inventory. Honestly, this is probably the easiest one. And I'm guessing everyone who's watched this video who has the game already has this one completed. After this, we have Recon. So for Recon, you need to find the Ching coin and finish the match with it in your inventory. On top of this, you can't take any damage from the Collapse and you have to finish in the top 15 players. As for where you can find the coin, it can be found in Supply Caches, Supply Drops, or off of Dead Bodies. Next, we have Crash crash you have to find the poker chip and finish the match with it in your inventory you also have to finish in the top 15 with 15 pieces of healing equipment so this can be bandages med kits trauma kits anything that heals you you have to have 15 of those items obviously the easiest way to do this is with bandages as far as where the poker chips can be found, aside from dead bodies, they can be found in the red medical bags that are laying on the ground throughout the map. After this, we have Torque. This is one of the more interesting and kind of difficult ones. For Torque, you have to find his note and finish the match with it in your inventory. On top of that, you have to deploy two razor wires and one barricade, and then finish in the top 20 players. So 20 in solos, 10 in duos, and top 5 in quads. Now, an interesting fact about this one, to find Torque's note, you will find it in a supply drop, and it just so happens that if you find the note in the supply drop, in the same supply drop, there will be two razor wires and one barricade so you just have to pick all of it up deploy it and then finish in the top 20 players so moving on to the new characters which challenges just came out yesterday we have battery for battery you have to find the war machine and finish the match with it in your inventory on top of that getting two kills with it it doesn't matter what position you finish you just have to get two kills with the war machine and if you're wondering where to find the war machine there's no easter egg or anything like that you can simply find it out of any supply drop after this, there's Fire Break, and for Fire Break, the item you have to find is a Burned Doll, and then once you do, you have to confirm a kill or clean up a downed player with fire. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the only real way to do this as of right now is with a Molotov, and as it mentions in there, it doesn't necessarily have to be a full kill. You can down someone first and then just finish them off with the fire. Next up is Profit, and honestly, out of any of the specialist characters, I think this one's the hardest. So for Profit, you have to find an 
ocular prosthetic which can apparently be found in supply drops and then once you have this you have to win the match with three perks active at the end of the game like i said you have to win and have three perks active i think that's probably like i said the hardest one on this list after this is Nomad, so for Nomad, you have to find dog tags, and then after you find the dog tags, you have to kill three specialists while having the dog tags in your inventory, and they have to be three different specialist characters. So this one will be a little bit easier once more players actually unlock the various specialist characters. And finally, another really difficult one, if you ask me, is Ruin. So for Ruin, you need to find Punching Mitts. I don't know why they're not called Boxing Gloves. And then after you find them, you need to kill an enemy using close quarters combat. In other words, you have to melee an enemy to the death. Now, this would be even more difficult, but the Punching Mitts actually spawn in the same spot every time. So at Construction Site, there is a big crane that holds a crate next to the helipad that is where you find the punching mitts now the mitts don't spawn in every game but they spawn in the same spot every time they do spawn so ladies and gentlemen that is how it is all done that is how you unlock the annihilator how you unlock seraph and how you unlock every other character so far available in blackout battle royale so i hope you guys found this video informative if you did i would really appreciate it if you hit that like button if you like what you see and want to stay up to date on all my videos on my channel the best way to do so is make sure you hit that subscribe button and have notifications turned on and let me know down in the comments which specialist you think is going to be the most difficult to get but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out